Tarawa, Raka Taka Sarawa Tarawa, Rika Tarawa Taka Rata, I'm so special, I couldn't earn it, I don't deserve it Till he gave himself for me for my sake Oh, the overwhelming never Reckless love of Yahweh Oh, it chases me down, oh, it chases me down And he fights till I'm found, he leaves the night and night just to come for me I couldn't earn it I don't deserve it But yet he died for me I couldn't earn it I don't deserve it Till he killed himself for me The reading of the biography of late Inyasukwe Into the esteemed family of Chief and Mrs. Inyasukwe Kane in Inkoda Panabon a serene community in Ibioni Bum local government of Paibum State, Nigeria Growing up in a traditional and close-knit family, Ian imbibed the values of hard work, integrity and community service from an early age, his education, 
Ian's educational journey was marked by a quest for excellence and a passion for scientific inquiry. He began his higher education at the University of Ibadan, where he earned his intermediate diploma in laboratory technology in 1983. He furthered his studies at the same institu institution, obtaining a final diploma in laboratory technology, specializing in microbiology with biology techniques in 1985. He fulfilled his National Youth Service Corps obligations in 1985, a testament to his commitment to, the, to national development and service. His academic credentials were further bolstered when he became an associate of the Institute of Science Technology in London in 1988. His commitment to continuous professional development was evident as he attained the prestigious status of Fellow of the Institute of Science Technology in London in 1990. Sounded like you did still be here for at least another decade from now. But here hands today, writing a tribute to you. I never thought it would happen so soon. We made plans. We had a reunion plan for a few weeks ahead. And those plans do not include your death or your funeral. Yes, we can't question or blame God. But still, it's not easy to say goodbye. You were always there for me, through thick and thin. You were my anchor, my rock, my strength. You were my friend, my gist partner. Speaking with you brought me so much joy and laughter. Thank you for being my hero. Thank you for being a father indeed. Thank you for caring for my son. Thank you for everything you did for me. Thank you for being the best dad one could wish for. From my heart, I say thank you, my daddy. Thank you for training me to be a strong, confident, and kind. You taught me generosity. You taught me resilience. You taught me humanity, dignity, integrity. Your legacy will live on. I will continue to uphold your legacy, Daddy. I will not bring shame or reproach to your name. I won't disappoint you or let you down. I promise to always make you proud. Though you were street, you showed us your love. Thank you for not giving up on me, even when I went astray and almost derailed my life. You were never tired of me. I will remain the daughter you raised me to be. Don't worry about my siblings, they are in the good hands. I promise to look out for them and look after them. I know you are in heaven, looking down on us. I know you see again on the resurrection morning. I'm happy, I'm proud to be, and will always be your daughter again and again. My daddy, my daddy, I will always miss you. You conquer all. In Christ, you conquered death. Till we meet again to part no more. Continue to rest in the bosom of the Lord. Good night, Ian Sukwok. Good night, Etemandu. <laughs> Good night, my dad. By Mandu Chaiti. You being my biological father was not a mistake. It was divinely orchestrated by God, who is all-knowing. So, I appreciate God for making you my dad. Thank you for being such an amazing dad. Your unwavering support, guidance and discipline in love played a great role in making me who I am today. Your selflessness, kindness, generosity and sacrifices have inspired me to be a better person 
of whom you are proud. I'm grateful for the bond we created, the memories we made, the laughter we shared, the lessons you taught me. You showed me what it means to be a good person, a servant leader, and a devoted family man. God, through you, have dispensed and shown me what fatherhood is. Thank you for being a good example of a godly father, just like Abraham and the likes. Your positive impact in the lives of people will not be forgotten. No one can feel the vacuum you've left behind because we are all unique in Godship. It's difficult for me to accept that you left us and I in heaven, rejoicing with the host. You are heaven's gain, though earth misses you. And this is my consolation and joy that you are back seen in the glory of heaven. I miss your early morning calls, Daddy. Sleep on in the bosom of our Lord Jesus Christ, my dearly beloved dad, your daughter, NSK Dominion, one of us. Friends, love and guidance. My father was more than just a parent, he was my mentor, my hero, and my friend. He taught me the values of hard work integrity and compassion. His wisdom shaped the person I am today and his lessons will continue to guide me throughout my life. In his final days, my father showed an incredible strength and resilience that left everyone in awe. Even in the face of adversity, he remained a pillar of strength for our family. His courage and determination were a testament to his character and his unwavering spirit will forever be an inspiration to us all. Though he's no longer with us, his legacy will remain, we will live on. I promise to uphold the values he instilled in me and to honor his memory by living a life that reflects his teachings. Dad, I miss you more than words can say. Your love and guidance will forever be a part of me. Rest in peace, knowing that your legacy will come. Endure through the lives you have taught and the love you have given. Jana Grace, thank you. George, Reverend David Ola Herbert. Daddy, I can't even watch such a gentle soul. Is he going? Humble and kind. His generosity was absolutely remarkable. He was a man of his word and his integrity was impeccable. The support for me as an individual, my family and ministry, especially when everyone turned their backs, is one thing I'll never forget about him. Daddy Ekenem loved God and served him the best way he could. Though he lived a quiet life, his good works engraved his name on many hearts, he will surely be remembered memorably and lovingly remembered. I pray that God will continue to grant him eternal rest and also abide with him with all those he is left behind. Canon World International Church will always and fondly remember Daddy Ekenem. This tribute is signed by the senior pastor of the church, Reverend David Ola Albers. To use this medium to thank God Almighty for the success of today, we also appreciate everyone who made today a success by your prayers, support, presence, and love. The Almighty God bless you all and grant you safe journey back to your destination. Thank you. No matter how long we stay, no matter how short we stay, we must give an account of how we spend our life here on what? Therefore, his life is a gift. It is wisdom to invest your life. Life is meant to be invested and not to be wasted. Wonderful, who is starting to use through this to get to any one of you? That the fire of God will destroy that evil. Amen. Amen. 
in the name of Jesus. You won't begin to cast love. But you begin to cast it in the name of Jesus. None of you will die in those things. In the name of Jesus. We're all together worthy. All together lovely. All together. Yahweh, Yahweh, where would I be if not for you? That's why I'll sing Yahweh, Yahweh, I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Yahweh, Yahweh, you've been good to me.